as which one of the following profiles represent the phenomena of cooperativity okay so before talking about the cooperativity okay so as we are already <clears throat> discussing about the michael smenten equation which comes like this okay so this is a basic simple michaelis menten uh, like simple basic uh, substrate enzyme reaction uh, scheme okay so uh, what happens generally an uh, enzyme have multiple binding sites or it okay so enzyme can bind to more than one substrate okay not only one substrate okay so uh, suppose a uh, different substrate it can bind so if this is the enzyme it is binding to one particular substrate okay it this enzyme substrate complex for then can bind to one more substrate okay and this particular enzyme substrate complexes can give the product in time okay so they can individually make their products as well okay so and that's how the uh, kinetic goes on that enzyme binds to one substrate then it, it can bind to another substrate and it can bind to further another substrate okay so if an enzyme has three different binding sites okay if enzyme has three different binding sites okay so uh, the first uh, substrate can bind can have all the three sides to bind to the enzyme okay so here the rate of reaction is higher the first rate of reaction is higher the other enzyme now uh, is left with two restriction uh, two uh, binding sites to bind okay so the rate of reaction is slower than the rate one and now similarly the third one which is left when only one side so now the rate of reaction third rate of reaction is will be much slower than the rate one and two okay so that's how the rate depends on the availability of the restriction uh, uh, sorry availability of the binding sites on the enzyme okay so this could be uh, one reason that the uh, rate of reaction does not increase linearly with the substrate concentrations okay because the substrate can bind to uh, different uh, the substrate can bind to different substrates at uh, different positioning okay so if we'll talk about uh, the graphs okay so this is a substrate concentration okay then this is the fractions occupied or you can call the rate of reaction okay so this is a normal Michaelis maintenance equation but sometimes what happens like one substrate is being bind and then another substrate uh, like one substrate is bound then comes the another substrate 
okay so binding of this particular substrate increases the affinity of enzyme for another substrate okay so that is something we can call the cooperativity so in that case the graph does not follow linear uh, uh, linear graph okay so the because the rate of reaction becomes much more higher at this point because the affinity becomes more because the conformational changes brought uh, due to the binding of the first substrate okay that's why the binding becomes faster so the graph also if you will see it will be faster okay so this is called a cooperativity graph. This is a cooperativity graph. Okay, here you can see the faster binding and faster the uh, achievement of the maximum velocity. Okay, so this uh, particular phenomena which we can refer as a cooperativity okay so the binding of any other substrate could be of three types okay first comes the cooperativity which positively affects the binding of other substrates okay so once the first substrate is bind it increases the affinity of enzyme towards the other substrate that's why increasing the rate of the reaction okay Second comes the non cooperativity that means binding of other substrate does not affect the bind so the binding of the first substrate does not affect the binding of the another substrate so it goes on like a normal graph like a normal micro maintaining graph so that is something non cooperativity third is the negative okay so this is a positive cooperativity another is negative cooperativity where binding of a substrate to the enzyme further decreases its affinity towards the next substrate okay so that's why the rate of reaction becomes much slower okay so if this is the uh, this is the non cooperativity graph the negative cooperativity graph will be something like this okay and positive cooperativity will be something like this. okay so this is positive cooperativity this is negative cooperativity and this is non-cooperativity these are the three types of the cooperativity we can find Okay. For example, if we talk about the positive cooperativity, hemoglobin molecule which can bind to the 4 oxygen. Okay. So, this uh, shows an example of a positive cooperative. Binding of one oxygen increases the hemoglobin affinity towards the other oxygen. Okay. So, this uh, particular example follows a sigmoid curve. Okay. For, uh, uh, However, myoglobin, which also binds to the oxygen, but does not bind to the many oxygen, it binds to the oxygen, it shows non cooperativity. Okay, and by it shows positive cooperativity. Okay. So, here in this example, if you see, which one of the following profiles represent the phenomena of cooperativity okay so here we have four graphs the first graph is similar to the michaelis maintainer it does not represent any cooperativity however it is representing a non-cooperativity so first one is completely wrong okay second one is also which is increasing linearly and decreasing that does not follows under any category um, the one which we have discussed and now okay the fourth one also mm, doesn't seem true okay so the third one which is a sigmoid curve and that shows us the phenomenon of cooperativity okay so for correct option for this question is 
uh, the option C, which is uh, showing a sigmoid curve and showing the phenomenon of cooperativity. Okay. Yeah. I hope uh, this is clear and thank you for listening. We'll again meet with further solutions way of uh, enzyme kinetics and we'll discuss about the inhibition, different inhibition mechanism and we'll discuss about the different examples of the inhibitions and uh, different types of inhibition and how does it take place what graphs it will follow okay so thank you for listening and this is my nptn reference thank you